Sponsored by me so you don't have to see ads. Hi, I'm Nezvers and I do stuff. I want to show you how to make infinite bouncing ball by using kinematic body 2D method move and collide. This way you can learn how to make your own physics behavior and tailor them to your needs. I'll be starting with empty project and let's start with 2D scene, name it level, save it, uh, since this is simple example tutorial, uh, I'll leave it there. So that's that, click other node, search for static body 2D, call it wall, add child collision shape 2D, create shape for it, rectangle shape 2D. I like pixel art, so I'll enter 8 by 8 extents, that means uh, 8 to the left, 8 to the right, 8, 8 to the up, 8 down, and summary size is 16 by 16. Probably we want to see our shape. So let's add child, color, rect, white is ok, change rect size 16, 16. choose grid snapping, uh, use pixel snap, move, move collision shape to match and save our scene. That's it, back to our level, but first we need to change uh, project resolution. Go project settings, scroll down to windows. Since I like pixel art, I'll go 320, 180 and 1280 and 720. Scroll down and mode 2D and aspect ray, uh, mode uh, keep height. Let's add node 2D that will be parent to all walls. Add instance child scene wall. As we see we can have wall but we need to enable pixel snap. Uh, let's place it somewhere there. And reason I saved it uh, 16 by 16, uh, same same width as height, because now we can scale and have nice Control D to duplicate, Control D to dupl duplicate, change transform. Ctrl D to duplicate, Ctrl D duplicate and now let's have fun. Um, choose some random rotation that we can use for bouncing ball. Duplicate, duplicate, so let's change more. Duplicate, rotate a bit. Now we have random walls to bounce off. Let's save, create new scene, other node, kinematic body 2D. Let's call it ball, save it, add collision shape. Now chose circle shape and radius 8. Save it and add script. I like to start with empty. First thing we need to get uh, our collision shapes shape radius. So on ready var radius. 
a float type and we get from collision shape 2D get shape and get radius from it we can use that to draw a circle um, call function and underscore draw it's built in method void type and we call function draw circle center is vector2.0 radius our variable and color blue for movement we will need only two variables one is velocity the initial value is vector2.0 we will use this variable to store our movement speed direction and remainder will carry over after collision uh, how far we can add our speed write down a function underscore physics process because that's built in method um, engine will call it it uh, need parameter delta float type and function itself is void I like to use types um, create temporary variable collision uh, and for it we call method move and collide which is kinematic body 2d uh, method we can check documentation and it says move the body along the vector the body will stop if it collides returns a kinematic collision 2d object which contains information about the collision it will be useful later that means after move and collide the function returns kinematic collision 2d and stores into our temporary variable that means we can check if collision that means uh, collision variable is not null we can gather all kind of information but first uh, we will store uh, speed as float so we call method length on our variable velocity and store that into speed and uh, create another temporary variable dir for getting direction also calling from our velocity variable and method normalized which means that our velocity is reduced to the length of one and we can uh, scale that with uh, floats and get what whatever uh, length we need next temporary variable normal vector type and we call our collision and ask what's the collision normal and store that into the var variable normal next we utilize our variable reminder also ask collision uh, to get reminder and we need to know only length of it so it's stored into the reminder variable next we assign value to the velocity of direction and you use uh, vector2 method bounce and give it a normal normal means uh, direction of uh, uh, surface we collided and we multiply that direction with our speed that's saved into our velocity in case of our collision velocity after collision gets redirected with help of bounce method since we now have a remainder we can utilize it too and carry over to the next frame after collision and add that uh, to our movement to get that we normalize our velocity and uh, multiply that by remainder because we want to apply a remainder only next frame after collision we need to reduce that to zero after we 
as they did to our speed. So all that's left is to add our ball to the scene. Add instance child scene ball. Move it over. Right now it's transparent, but our our draw method will draw blue circle uh, instead of that transparent uh, ball. Because we start with a velocity of value 0, that means our ball won't move. But as example, let's create a function, let's create function underscore unhandled input, which gets parameter event of input event type, function is void type, and we will get a mouse left button pressed and use that to add a speed to our velocity. So we ask if event is input event mouse button type and event is pressed, uh, that's a method inside event object and event uh, variable button index is equal to 1 meaning uh, button 1 which is mouse button left then let's create a variable direction vector2 type assign value of uh, get local mouse position function which gets normalized uh, that will give a vector2 uh, value from our ball to the mouse. Then we add direction times whatever value you want to use to our velocity. And let's check what we got. Let's save. Also, because we it's first time, uh, select the scene that will be used for launching game and its level. As we see, uh, ball velocity is initialized as zero, but as soon as we click, the ball is moving. It bounces off. Let's add more speed. We can get crazy speed. We can influence that direction. For me, this approach seems much better than using Rigid Body 2D because it doesn't ignore tiles uh, by going through the gap. I hope you learned a new way how to utilize Godot physics. You can take this new information further and as an example have the ball reduce velocity after the collision or have gravity influence its movement. In fact, I used uh, Move and Collide to replace Rigid Body 2D in one of my 3 hour game jam game called Rubber Swing which you can play on itch.io and also sources available. I hope you liked this video and see you later.